Hey guys, Isabel Drawn here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I have a question for you guys, but before I ask that question, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, talk to you a little bit as to where the question came from. So you know we're coming to the end of 2019 and moving into 2020. And um, a lot of us, including myself, are making all these New Year's resolutions and we have all these plans. We're getting really excited about January 1st so we can hit the ground running and start executing these plans of who we want to become or what we want to create for the next year. But my question to you is, did you know that you don't have to wait until January of next year to start becoming the person that you want to become in 2020? Did you know that you don't have to wait until January 1st to start becoming the person who will be able to execute the plan that you're so eloquently putting together for next year? We all get excited about New Year's resolution. We all get this energy like, man, we're about to do this beginning of January. And what? And you know what happens? Life is so unpredictable. Life has so much uncertainty. So boom, something happens, right? Something happens in your life. And what does that do? It takes you right back to square one. And that's why it is important for us to start becoming the person that we want to be for the following year. It is important for us to start um, manifesting, really, to start being that of which that we want to be for the following year, we, to be that person who will create that life that we want for 2020. And some people will say, you know, so how do you start by doing that? There are, for me, I think you have to sit down and look at the different areas in your life. It may not be all be all areas in your life that you have to improve. But what I learned in 2019, especially the last two months, these last two months, is that in every area of your life, you really have to give your best. You have to give your best in every area of your life. So take a look at which area in your life that you could do better. So. I will talk about probably three of them that we'll just discuss here real quick that will probably help you. Number one is your mindset. Mindset, it is so big, right? Big, 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 big. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to what you feed your thoughts because you know what we focus on is exactly how we feel. The story that we tell ourselves about what has happened in our life or what we've been through in our life is exactly who we become. So be aware of what you're telling yourself. Um, Jim Rohn says, and I will paraphrase him, he says every day, every day, be a guard at the door of your mind. In so many words, pay attention who's in your ear. Read more books. Educate yourself. Advance yourself. Our mind is a very powerful thing. What we think is exactly how we feel. If we feel we're not worthy, we're gonna go into 2020 again, portraying that life and being not worthy. So it's important that you work on your mind. And um, another one for me is physiology. You know, I think as human beings, we do not realize how powerful of an instrument our body is. It is difficult, don't get me wrong. I wake up every morning, you know, I pray, I meditate, I wake up every morning by 5, 5.30, or I, I go to the gym, at least I try to do it six days out of seven. But it's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is hard to get out of bed sometimes. But I have to challenge myself, right? I have to see how strong I can be. Because when I move my body and the adrenaline is moving in my body, it puts my mind in a different state. My mind is aired out. It gives me clarity. And we know how powerful clarity is. I'm able to think better. I've worked out pretty a lot. So, but until the, these last two months is when I'm really paying attention as to how powerful our bodies are and how they contribute to our emotional state, how to, they contribute to our mental state. It is not easy, I'm telling you. You just have to do it. For next year, we are going, we have to become the better versions of who we are. And then last but not least is your spirit. Pray, meditate, take some time to yourself. Take some time to learn your inner voice. The power is within you. 
the power is within me. It takes some of us a long time to get it. And I think it's a process in life. We're still learning. We're probably, life is an experience. We're probably gonna learn until the end, but it is important that we start understanding the power that is within us. With that power, we can create the life that we want. With that power, we don't have to survive in life. We can thrive in life. So take some time to get to know yourself. Be still enough to hear your voice. And most importantly, while you're working on your spiritual awareness, your emotional intelligence, you know, forgive yourself. It is very important. Forgive yourself. Forgive others and ask for forgiveness. Free your soul, free your mind, because we can be the best employees, we can have the best businesses, we can do the best of everything out there. But if we are not taking care of this, which is the foundation of what creates everything else, success without fulfillment is nothing. So I wish you guys the best. I know you're gonna do well in 2020, but I'm challenging you to start now. Do not wait until 2020 to become the person that you want to be. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, comment. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.